to uh, another video. Today I am back in Plymouth. Uh, I have made a video on Plymouth before. Uh, if you want to check that out, there's a link up there. Check that one out. Uh, but there were a couple of bits that uh, I didn't really touch on in that video. So I've come back to explore and uh, see a little bit more. So uh, let's go and explore the uh, Barbican area of Plymouth. First of all, we're going to head over here to these steps. This is the uh, steps where the Mayflower apparently set sail um, to America and uh, took the pilgrims over here, over to America from uh, England, more specifically Plymouth, this area right here. Um, however, this is actually like a memorial gate, a memorial gate. Um, it's where the government have basically made it to give the tourists an actual place where they can come and actually see and have a picture, basically. Nobody actually knows where the original steps were, where the Mayflower were set off from, but it is believed, uh, many, many theories, but the main theory is that it is where that pub is to this day. Uh, as this is all uh, brand new land, what I'm walking on right here. This is the new quay, the new quay, uh, which was built with money. Uh, as Plymouth became very prosperous when uh, they found uh, Newfoundland, and there was a lot of uh, fish brought to Plymouth from Newfoundland originally back in the day so they needed uh, more land and that's why they built this brand new quay uh, a long long time ago hundreds of years ago and uh, that's why we got it here to this day so let's go and check it out let's have a little look check the mic and make sure it sound right boys around, I'm gonna walk these uh, steps, I think, for the Barbican Theatre here. And apparently this is the pub, like I say, which is where they believe the steps were, where the Mayflower was, as all of this is uh, brand new, well not brand new, a couple hundred years old, but it is the new key, known as the new key. weather is on and off today. Um, it was quite nice weather earlier on but now, uh, well just before I started filming there was a little bit of a downpour. Uh, I mean it's looking alright now but there's some dark clouds ahead of me over here so uh, no doubt in the course of the video it will rain again but uh, hey ho! What can you do? What's this? It sound right, boy. Alright, we're going to head up the street. This is uh, New Street, which is actually the oldest street in Plymouth, go figure. And the oldest building is this one right here, the Elizabethan House. It dates back to 1599, right next to the Himalayan Spice. Very nice. But yeah, this is the oldest building. 
the wood is apparently made, uh, well the house is built with the wood of an old ship apparently, so that's what I've read anyway. Three different floors. Making our way up over here. This building up here, that's where I'm staying, that's my window. That's, uh, that's my uh, living room at the moment. Now there is actually somewhere else as well I want to go check out. I don't know where or how to get to it but apparently it's just up here. Um, it was actually built to commemorate the uh, 350th anniversary of the Mayflower setting sail. It was built in the 70s I believe and it's a little uh, garden, it's called the Tudor Gardens, Elizabethan Gardens. Here we go. I think this is it. So this is the name of the pilgrims who sailed from here on the Mayflower. From all over England, Norfolk, Canterbury, Surrey, Essex, Colchester. Oh wow, look at this. This is the uh, Elizabethan Gardens, which was uh, made in the 1970s. The big cobweb there. Yeah, this was built in the uh, 1970s uh, to commemorate the uh, 350th anniversary of uh, the Mayflower. And uh, the reason why it was built here uh, is because outside of London, Plymouth was the second most affected city within the UK uh, from the Blitz of World War Two, uh, as Plymouth is a big big and was was and still is a big uh, naval base and uh, so it was very heavily bombed not so much in this area however there was a lot of damage here but it was mainly this uh, the town the city side of things that was really really heavily damaged um, but this originally was uh, little houses and then uh, it's been made into this lovely uh, cobweb garden that we see here. It sound right, boys.
yeah, originally this would have been the original uh, shoreline. And this is what we're standing on right here. This is all uh, new land that was made for the new quay that we talked about earlier on as well. The uh, distillery is on the site of what was the Blackfriars Monastery originally, which was destroyed during the uh, time of Henry VIII and the dissolution of the monasteries. After that it became a uh, debtor's prison, which it probably would have been at the time of when the Mayflower set sail. And uh, now, as you can see, it is the uh, Plymouth Gin Distillery, which is the oldest distillery in the world. Uh, first bottle of gin made here in 1793. You can still go inside there. And um, in fact, I have actually been in there before. And uh, the roof inside the building is <clears throat> amazing. It's an old wooden structure and it's absolutely stunning. Uh, it's really reminiscent of, um, I forget the name of it, it's in the uh, House of Westminster, in the House of, uh, oh, it's gonna, that's gonna bug me, is that? There's, uh, what's it called? Where all the uh, monarchs lay in state, it's in uh, Where Big Ben is, forget the name of it. It's gonna come to me in a minute, but there's a, a lovely wooden, roof inside this building and it's pretty much the same on a small scale inside the Plymouth Gin Distillery. It is beautiful. What a lovely day it's turned out to be. How about this? How about this? Alright so we're going to the uh, hole as it's known. Uh, just to, uh, I want to show you this thing over here. Uh, we talked about the Blitz already, and Plymouth being the second most damaged place uh, after the Blitz, World War II. There is still uh, bomb damage that you can still see a lot in the buildings to this day. There's a prime example coming up ahead of us over here, which I've only recently just found out about. Um, it's not much, but um, it's worth just pointing out as we are are up here as well. So this area really wasn't affected too much by the bombs, it was main, mainly the uh, town centre, but uh, there was a little bit of uh, damage up here. Let's go and work this out over here. This is the uh, grand, lovely building. But if we come to this pillar here, if we look round the corner, you can make out where it's, uh, the edge of it's, uh, it's not weathered away, that was actually uh, damage. Uh, shrapnel hitting the actual pillar from a bomb during the blitz, once upon a time. It is evident on a lot of buildings all around for them, but uh, I'm not really going to go on that much of a walk, but it's worth uh, just pointing out maybe this bit here as well, which has been uh, filled in. Here we go. And there's another prime example just there, and a little bit further down here as well. Wow. Hardcore. On the top of here. Wow. Crazy, 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 crazy. There is a... I don't think he's out here. Anyway, let's go and have a little look at the uh, lovely piece of artwork where the beetles sat. Here we go. So this is where they all uh, sat down. Pretty cool, all the uh, musical notes, all the musical notes.
But this is what the uh, artwork is based on this picture here. This is Drake's, Drake's Island, uh, Francis Drake, who we've talked about in many, many videos around London. Big, uh, big man in the Elizabethan area, let's say. Um, so he was born here, in Plymouth, and uh, many of his voyages set sail from here as well. And uh, if you can hear, I am actually carrying a carrier bag around uh, as I have come across something amazing. Amazing. Went to a random shop and I found something amazing which I am going to show you before the end of the video. It's, uh, I'm well happy. I really am. Alright, here we go. This is the wet walk. This is where uh, I had my dinner last night. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boy. Alright, so I just thought I'd stop here just for a minute um, just to tell you what I bought, why I was so excited because, not many people know this, but I am a very, very big um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Hero Turtles uh, fan of the original series from back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s and um, walking around the town today came across something that I had as a kid uh, and I lost it, well my mum sold it, so I've re-bought them. Only gone and got it. VHS, the original cartoon, Return of the Technodrome. Oh yes. And then also, as well as that one, another classic, Case of the Killer Pizzas. I know, I know, right? I am well happy about that. I used to have this back in the day but yeah I'm uh, a big geek like that I do uh, I collect all of the uh, the toys the original ones anyway from the 90s and the 80s um, so yeah maybe one time I will show you my collection um, yeah really happy with that so there you go on that note I uh, 
going to finish the video there. I'm going to love you and leave you. And uh, stay tuned. More exciting uh, videos coming from uh, lots and lots of different towns all around uh, the UK. As well as uh, overseas as well. I've got a few bits and pieces coming up. Uh, so very, very exciting times. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe definitely. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. All the best. Take care. It sound right, boy.